Made in China, bitch. Oh my gosh. Hi, drama. Come here. Drama poodle. Do you have drama for daddy about John Cucky and Cucky and Cosmetics? Tell me the drama. My goodness, Drama Poodle, I had no idea about that. Thank you for telling Daddy the drama. Hey guys, and welcome to Mango Tea. If you're new here, thank you for joining me. My name is Steven Mango, and this is Drama Poodle, and we're a drama channel that talks about beauty drama and the beauty community here on YouTube. So if you wanna stay up to date on all of the latest tea and drama on YouTube, go down below, click on that subscribe button, as well as the bell icon right on next to it, so you stay up to date on all the latest tea on YouTube. So without further ado, let's get right on into today's video. Bitch, Drama Poodle was just telling me all the tea about how Cucking Cosmetics was finally officially dissolved in the UK. We have all that story here for you today. It's actually gonna be in a voiceover video, but we just wanted to come on camera and say hello to you guys. We have a lot of really exciting videos here to come on Mango Tea. Also, don't forget to head on over to Mangotology. I'm posting daily videos exposing the Church of Scientology. So if you're interested in Scientology tea, head on over to Mangotology. So, Enjoy today's video. Drama Poodle and I are gonna go on a walk and we are going to leave you guys with all the tea here on Cucking Cosmetics, so let's go. The day has finally come. As of April 16th, Cucking Cosmetics was officially struck off the register and is no longer a legal or official company in the United Kingdom. As I discussed in my last video on the matter, John was very delinquent on filing his Made in China Bitch Cosmetic Company's business filing. This wasn't the first time, as he previously had fallen behind on his filing. However, there was still a slight chance he had filed an extension or even made a last-minute filing to bring his company current. Yet, he didn't do so and his company is now officially dissolved. Let's take a look at his business on the Company House website, which lists all the public filings and business standings for companies in the UK. So here we are on the Company House website under the Cucky and Cosmetics business page. You can see the company status is listed as dissolved on April 16th, 2019. When you click here on the filing history, you can go down and see all the different filings for the company and actually click and see the actual PDF where the company is listed as dissolved. Since this all became public, John has come under heat from others who are exposing his most recent behavior and antics. As I mentioned in a previous video, John didn't announce a winner to his giveaway. This was a mystery others began inquiring about. He also had many people wondering what is going on with the standing of his company. He was caught and went on to address all of this in comments on a post on Instagram, followed up by a separate post on the Cuckian Cosmetics Instagram page addressing all of the rumors. At John Cuckian, I've been watching you too, sweetie. When are you coming back? John replies, very soon, queen, working on some things, but I miss you so much. I will be back soon. Is it true that Cucking is closing? Miss you on YouTube. John responds, Not even remotely true, my love. I've been working on relocating us and setting up a new distribution deal for the last three months. If you check the website, we just launched new combo packages. Then John posted this on Instagram. Hello, queens. Wow, what a busy two months we have had. We have so much to tell you, but first of all, thank you so much for your patience on our giveaway. The winner is at Purely. Congrats! We feel bad about the delay, so we picked two more winners to win a lipstick of their choice each. So congrats Marlena Stancil and Glam by Matt. We are going to put this up in a blog post. Yes, we have a blog coming to cucking.co. I honestly thought we were past this. But in brief, we have been working like ants to proudly be able to announce we are soon going to be offering same-day shipping in Southern California and New York City. Also, we officially launch in Russia in two weeks. We now also proudly offer customer service in German, and we are working hard to launch in Dutchland later this year. 
We will write about this more in our blog, but Brexit has had a negative impact on us and a lot of the legal paperwork we have already completed to sell into the UK has been invalidated because the UK will soon have its own legal channels for compliance separate to the EU. With the no-deal Brexit, we also compromise our relationship with retailers in Europe we are in negotiations with since we have no agreement to be part of the single market. For this reason, we have pulled our company out of Britain and we will update you on this soon. Every decision we make is for the benefit of our customers and as times change, we will always adapt to give you the best cosmetics at the best prices. We are so excited for you to see all we have been working on, but right now we will just leave some teasers in this image. The lipstick used was Mayfair by Cuckian. Even though his company is now officially dissolved, it doesn't look like John is going to let it stop him from managing to continue to sell his Alibaba private label cosmetics. Many online also started speculating if he is actually able to incorporate a business in Russia due to business laws that require you to reside in Russia and speak Russian or provide a Russian translator. We also know he can't operate in the United States due to his court proceedings here. I'm personally very curious where Cucking Cosmetics will pop up next. But the drama continues and we aren't stopping there. On his website, he has restocked his liquid lipsticks. Is this legal for him to do, given his business standing in the UK? The UK has laws and regulations against further retail sales upon the dissolution of a company, but in any case, he has multiple shades restocked and has eight liquid lipsticks for sale for $119. So I was looking at the bundle and something caught my eye. Scented with Cuckian Italian perfume. Is there a chance John might try to sell the makeup fragrance on its own? Lord help us. Who wants to smell like John Krusty Lips? Although there will always be drama with John, that's all the tea I have for you today. Of course, if there is any other breaking news with John or Cucking Cosmetics, I will be sure to make a new video and keep you guys updated on all of the drama. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you like this video and want to see more like them, please go down below, click on that subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you stay up to date on all things YouTube drama. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think about today's video. Give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you on tomorrow's video. Bye guys.